When people get a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes, they may think they've been handed a life sentence. What you may not know is that as many as 80% of people with diabetes have the ability to reverse their disease. Michael Danzinger, MD, who is known for his role as the nutrition doctor for NBC's The Biggest Loser says, Are you struggling to manage your blood sugar levels and insulin resistance? You're not alone. Millions of people around the world are dealing with the same issue. The good news is that there are several things you can do to improve your insulin sensitivity and lower your HbI1c level. In this video, we'll be sharing 5 effective ways to do just that. First, we'll explore the benefits of regular exercise and physical activity. Exercise has been shown to help improve insulin sensitivity by promoting glucose uptake in the muscle. We'll discuss some of the best types of exercise for insulin resistance and how to incorporate them into your routine. Next, we'll dive into the importance of a healthy, balanced diet. We'll discuss specific foods and nutrients that can help lower blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity, as well as some common foods to avoid. Finally, we'll touch on the benefits of medication and medical interventions for insulin resistance. While lifestyle changes are an important first step, Sometimes medication or other medical interventions are necessary to effectively manage blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of the most effective ways to manage your blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Did you know that if you aren't insulin dependent, there's a good chance you can reverse diabetes? So sit back, relax, and get ready to take control of your health. First, let's explore what an I1C test is. An I1C test measures your average levels of blood glucose over the past three months, also called blood sugar. If you have diabetes, it will show whether treatment is working and how well you are controlling your condition. The test provides information about a person's average blood sugar levels over the two to three months before the test. The figure is given as a percentage. If the percentage is higher, your average blood sugar level is also higher. This means you have a higher risk of developing diabetes or related complications. Let's move on to the five ways of beating insulin resistance. 1. What is high-intensity interval training and why is it best for beating insulin resistance? High-intensity interval training is a type of exercise that involves alternating short periods of high-intensity exercise with periods of rest or low-intensity exercise. HIIT workouts typically last anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes and can include exercises such as sprinting, cycling, or jump roping. HIIT has been shown to be effective in beating insulin resistance. This is because HIIT can help improve insulin sensitivity, which allows the body to better regulate blood sugar levels. During HIIT workouts, the body uses a lot of energy quickly, which can help deplete glycogen stores in the muscle. When these glycogen stores are depleted, the body starts to rely on stored fat for energy, which can help improve insulin sensitivity. New research shows that high-intensity interval training increases muscle glucose metabolism and insulin sensitivity in people with type 2 diabetes. After just two weeks of training, glucose uptake in the thigh muscles return to normal levels. Make sure always to have a sweet drink around whenever you're doing workouts like HIIT, in case your blood sugar goes very low. 2. Intermittent Fasting Intermittent fasting is a dietary approach that involves restricting food intake to specific time periods or cycles of eating and fasting. There are several different methods of intermittent fasting, but the most common is the 16 over 8 method, which involves fasting for 16 hours and eating during an 8-hour window. Intermittent fasting has been shown to be effective for beating insulin resistance because it can help improve insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. During periods of fasting, the body uses stored glucose for energy, which can help reduce blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Intermittent fasting has also been shown to have a number of other health benefits, including reducing inflammation, improving heart health, and promoting weight loss. All of these factors can help reduce the risk of developing insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. One study published in the journal Cell Metabolism found that intermittent fasting can help improve insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism in people with prediabetes, a condition in which blood sugar levels are higher than normal but not high enough to be considered type 2 diabetes. Before we continue, give us a like and hit the subscribe button to help us to keep doing videos like this. 3. Healthy Diet A healthy diet can help regulate blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Aim for a diet rich in whole grains, fruits, vegetables, lean protein, and healthy fats. 
limit processed foods, sugary drinks, and foods high in saturated and trans fats. A healthy diet is one that is balanced, nutritious, and based on whole, minimally processed foods. It includes a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats while limiting highly processed foods, added sugars, and saturated and trans fats. Eating a healthy diet is essential for beating insulin resistance because it can help regulate blood sugar levels and reduce inflammation in the body. This can eventually lead to type 2 diabetes if left untreated. In 2015, a study examined the effect of low-carbohydrate diets on insulin sensitivity in adults with type 2 diabetes. The researchers concluded that a low-carb diet may help improve insulin sensitivity in people with a BMI over 30 or those with other diabetes risk factors, such as polycystic ovary syndrome. 4. Probiotics and Omega-3 Supplementation Probiotics and Omega-3 Supplementation have both been studied for their potential to improve insulin sensitivity. Probiotics are live bacteria that can provide health benefits when consumed in adequate amounts. Studies have suggested that probiotics may improve insulin sensitivity by reducing inflammation in the gut and improving the gut microbiota. The gut microbiota is the collection of microorganisms that live in the digestive tract and has been linked to a range of health outcomes including insulin resistance. Research has found that certain strains of probiotics, such as lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, may improve insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism in people with type 2 diabetes. Omega-3 fatty acids are a type of polyunsaturated fat found in fish, nuts, and seeds. Omega-3 supplementation has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity by reducing inflammation in the body and improving cellular function. One study found that supplementing with omega-3 fatty acids for six weeks improved insulin sensitivity in overweight and obese adults. 5. Getting enough sleep is important for improving insulin sensitivity because it affects the body's ability to regulate glucose and insulin level. Research has shown that sleep deprivation can lead to insulin resistance, which is a condition where the body's cells become less sensitive to insulin and do not respond as well to glucose. This can cause an increase in blood sugar levels, which can eventually lead to type 2 diabetes. One study found that even a single night of sleep deprivation can cause insulin resistance in healthy individuals. In this study, participants who slept only 4 hours for one night had a 16-30% to 30 decrease in insulin sensitivity compared to those who slept for 8 hours. Another study found that chronic sleep deprivation, which is defined as getting less than 6 hours of sleep per night, is associated with an increased risk of developing insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. In addition to reducing insulin sensitivity, sleep deprivation can also lead to increased hunger, cravings for high-calorie foods, and weight gain, which are all risk factors for insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. Here are other steps you can take to improve insulin sensitivity. Medications If lifestyle changes alone are not enough to improve insulin sensitivity and lower HbA1c level, medication may be necessary. Talk to your doctor about medications such as metformin or insulin therapy. Weight loss, losing weight, especially abdominal fat, can help improve insulin sensitivity and lower hemoglobin I1C. Aim for a healthy weight loss of 1 to 2 pounds per week through a combination of diet and exercise. Stress management, chronic stress can raise blood sugar levels and decrease insulin sensitivity. Try stress-reducing activities such as yoga, meditation, or deep breathing exercises to help manage stress and improve insulin sensitivity. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button to help us with the YouTube algorithm. More info is in the description below. Until next time, to your health.